in uh, transient heat transfer analysis it is often necessary to know the resistance to heat transfer both outside the object and inside the object. So in this module we will consider the relative importance of the external resistance to heat transfer versus the internal resistance to heat transfer. Let's uh, consider a simple experiment. Uh, we take a uh, solid object uh, and we drop it into uh, let's say uh, heated water and uh, so heat will be transferring uh, from the water into this solid object. So as the heat transfers from the hot water into the object in its path first there is a resistance uh, to heat transfer which is right on the surface of that object and that is still in the surrounding fluid and then there will be resistance to heat transfer internally as heat moves from the surface to center of that object. Now the first person who recognized the importance of this was Biot and uh, there is a number, a dimensionless number that is named after Biot and this Biot number is a ratio between the internal conductive resistance within the body divided by external convective resistance at the surface of the body. Note by conductive we mean of course that heat transfer is by conduction within the solid object and by the convective resistance we mean the resistance that is outside in the fluid where the uh, heat transfer is by convection. Now we can write down uh, this both the internal resistance and the external resistance in terms of the quantities that you have already seen in some of the previous modules. So if the characteristic dimension of the object is dc then we can say that Biot number equals dc over k where k is the thermal conductivity divided by 1 over h. Note that in this numerator, in that ratio, k is in the denominator. So k is thermal conductivity. So the inverse of thermal conductivity means resistance. So that's what we have in the numerator. In the denominator of this ratio, we have 1 over h. Again, h was the convective heat transfer coefficient. So the inverse of that convective heat transfer coefficient is the convective resistance to heat transfer. So we can rearrange these two ratios in the denominator and numerator by moving some of these terms around and we get H dc over k. So Biot number is H dc over k. Now if the H value, the convective heat transfer coefficient value, is very high, then this number will be very large. So we will consider that Biot number greater than 40 refers to cases where the external resistance is very, very small. Note that if H is very high, then the resistance is low, the outside convective resistance. So the external resistance is very small if Biot number is greater than 40. Whereas if Biot number is less than 0 0.1, that is when the thermal conductivity is very high, thermal conductivity of that solid object is very high, then the internal resistance will be very small. Again note that 
conductivity is inverse of the resistance, the internal resistance. So if thermal conductivity is very high, that means the internal resistance is very small. So for a solid object where the internal resistance is very small, Byte number is less than 0 0.1. And then we have cases where the Byte number may be between 0 0.1 to 40. And uh, this is a case uh, where both internal and surface resistances are important. And we have to consider those in solving problems regarding uh, uh, transient heat transfer. So again, to give you an example, in case of blanching, if steam is condensing on P's, then the H value will be very high. You will recall from one of the previous modules that in case of condensing steam, the convective heat transfer coefficient is very, very high. So that means the Byte number will be greater than 40. Whereas if you have an object made of, let's say, copper, uh, that means the thermal conductivity is very high, that means the resistance, internal resistance is very, very small, then the Byatt number will be less than 0 0.1. Uh, the solutions to the partial differential equation that describes transient heat transfer for these three different cases, the negligible internal resistance, the uh, negligible surface resistance, and cases where both the surface resistance and the internal resistances are significant.